everyone told me, wait to the Bayou Classic, wait to the Bayou Classic, wait to the Bayou Classic. Going into that dome and seeing that many African Americans in a dome, 60, 70, 80,000 individuals, all having fun, coming together between two historical black colleges, was the best I've ever seen in my life. I called the class of 1940s my class. I'm from Gramlin State University. I'm a 1993 graduate. I finished there in 49. 1962 graduate of uh, Southern University in Baton Rouge. A 1996 graduate of Gramlin State University. A 1959 graduate of Gramlin State University. I'm a graduate of Gramlin University, then Gramlin College in 1960. I graduated in 1954. I'm a Gramlin State University graduate. I graduated in 1992. Graduated from Gramlin State University, December of 1974. Southern University in Gramlin has always been a rival ever since I was a little boy. It has been a rival. It's a family thing, and it's, that, that it's a natural rivalry within the state. I think the most important element is a family affair, in that my family is split. Southern University, my sister and brothers went there, and I went to Grandland. It's one of the most exciting events, and personally it's exciting for me because uh, my father is a Southernite and my mother is a Gramlingite. So we have a split in our family uh, over uh, the Bayou Classic, and literally we don't speak to each other on Thanksgiving weekend. It's very exciting when we win. It's not so nice when we lose. For years I said, uh, well, I kind of feel sorry for these Southernites going down there every year, and they're losing. And I can face some of my friends from Grambling now and say, yeah, look, we're winning now. The things that I enjoy most is that when we beat Southern, I get to tease my friends. The first time when Southern won, it was really exciting because they had lost so much interest, it brought back the excitement for them, so it made it a good thing. Now, I'm just totally a Southern night all the way. I mean, I love Gremlin and I have family that has attended, and uh, but I'm a Southern night all the way, wholeheartedly. I also like to say that my brother attended Southern and uh, I, I know he would feel good uh, with me saying that, that a Southern is second to Grambling. Can a tiger beat a, a, a jaguar? Can a jaguar beat a tiger? That's sort of a loaded question for me. There is no doubt Grambling State University has the best marching band. Well, honey, there is no doubt. There is no question. The best band in the land, and especially jaguar land, is SU band, of course. It's been often said that uh, they can take care of the people in South Louisiana while we entertain the rest of the world. Southern University has the best marching band. Uh, the reason why is because they can only be imitated but not duplicated. Southern is only trying to duplicate what we've already perfected. Those uh, other bands that actually come out and try to duplicate what they've seen, uh, they don't, they don't even come close. They were bragging and talking about how good they were, and they were perhaps the best band. And seemingly they had forgotten that Gremlin taught almost every other band how to dance, march, and play. Hey, we can go how many steps a minute? A <laughs> hundred steps a minute? We, the real thing. It's the old gridiron action, uh, seeing the teams uh, uh, in, in good faith, I guess you would say. Just go after it, you know, and may the best team win. It's an easy one. Uh, the Jaguars, without a doubt. Without a doubt. That's not difficult for me to say. Grambling State University, of course. I don't think it'll be much of a game. I don't think it'll be much of a game. I think the Jaguars will dominate. Grambling will win. Southern will be shocked. And the world will rejoice behind this. It's much more than just a regular football game. It's, it's uh an event in itself. I was the quarterback in the first Bayou Classic when they played in Tulane Stadium and I was a young freshman. 
I ran out from under the chutes and I looked up in the stands, 80,000 people. I didn't know what was to stay or uh, run back in the tunnel because at Grambling State University and Southern University, the black colleges, 80,000 people was unheard of. I told Doug yesterday, you don't have to win but one game. Beat Southern. But Doug Williams may not ever beat Southern University. Southern University has never beat this particular coach when he was on the field, and I don't think they're going to start by beating him as a coach either. Gremlin's going to come in, come in with an attitude that we've got a new coach, we've got some new plays, and we're going to kick him all the way up and down the field. That's going to be a joke. Oh, we'll carry on. I think it's a, it's a heritage thing. It's, it's about legacies. I've been going to the Bayou Classic ever since I was a teenager, and I, I want to instill that same type of thing with my sons. I want to get them started and get them doing it, and hopefully when they're adults and have their own kids, they can take their kids there and see that look in their kids' eyes that I saw in their eyes. I graduated in 1944 from Grambling State University. 1971 graduate of Grambling State University. Graduated from Southern University uh, December of 1980. I graduated from Southern in 1991. 1964 graduate, Grambling State University. I graduated the year 1965 from Southern University. I graduated in 1966. Of course, Southern University is going to win. Everybody knows that. We have already set the stage for it by giving Southern a false impression that they rule. But that was simply done so that we would have a gala time on this 25th civil anniversary. Hey, you know what? If they play it, we're going to win it. Grandma, of course, is an underdog. So everybody believes, of course, Southern's going to get it. But we need to hit them when they least expect it. We don't have to debate the issue. We know the best bed in the land. Southern University has this is a human jukebox. We've heard oftentimes uh, Southern University band is the human jukebox or whatever, but we know that Gramlin's band is often imitated but never duplicated. So Gramlin's band is the band. Oh goodness, that's a no-brainer. It's Southern University. Oh, that's a no-brainer. The Gramlin State University Tiger Marching Band. I'm only interested in the win or loss. Any Grambling victory has been a moment I would love to forget. We are not losers at Grambling. Matter of fact, I'm certain Southern will win. We expect to win. We got to win to keep those Southerners quiet for a moment or two. It's starting a new dynasty. I always said, you know, no school really comes out as a loser. I mean, when you look at the scoreboard, yes, there will be a definite winner in the ball game. But both schools come out as a winner. We draw crowds from everywhere that make them wish that they could have come to one of the two universities. Well, it's the, the, the coming together of uh, the people and uh, the game and just to see the, the, the unity that uh, the black folks show in supporting the, uh, this game. Of course, it's the money that the uh, school uh, received to help other children uh, be able to go to college and, and succeed in their careers. The most important part to me would be the scholarship money that are generated to allow for students to be able to go to school. I think uh, stressing the stressing of education, that uh, you need to go to college, you need to become a part of this, this movement, you need to, to participate in this activity, and you need to become goal-oriented. The Bayou Classic serves as a social activity, a cultural activity, and an educational activity. When we see what's happening in these United States in terms of the youth, we have to reach out some way and touch them in a sense of letting them know that getting an education, especially a good one, is very important. It brings a uh, image uh, to uh, the United States that shows that uh, uh, African Americans have a heritage that they can pass along, that they can share. I think that the most important element of the Bayou Classic is the um, scholarship funds as well as other funds that are given back to the school through the Bayou Classic. 
I would have to say that the most important element would be the schools coming together. I've always maintained that coming together at this time uh, of the year allows us to reflect not, up, uh, not uh, only upon the past, but up on the future of two great institutions. There's an entity called the Super Job Fair to where our students get an opportunity to go and meet with persons from the major companies and corporations in America to speak with them and ultimately garner employment and something that will carry them for a lifetime. Twenty-five years of a contest like this says a lot, I think, for the alumni of these two universities, for the coaching staffs, for the administrative staffs, and just for the general public who have been so supportive through the years. I'm shooting not to miss one from now on. I've traveled to every major city in the United States and three foreign countries, and I've not had the opportunity to attend an event of that magnitude where there are so many blacks and others centered around one commotion. It's an experience you will never forget. Any Southern victory has been a memorable moment. Uh, any Grambling victory has been a moment I would love to forget. For those who have never, ever been, they don't know what they're missing. It's like a big festival and uh, almost a national holiday, to tell you the truth. It's one of those uh, that still sends chills through you when, you when you hear them play. There is so much to say about the Bayou Classics. You just have to be there, and maybe that's one reason we never miss it. It's quite an event. I, I wouldn't miss it for all the tea in China, basically. I believe the Bayou Classic shows America at its best.